Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today, to me, this video is really, really exciting. As you can tell, I'm wearing red lipsticks, which I, I haven't worn in a while. And I'm wearing a shirt with hearts. And I actually haven't worn this shirt in a while. Same. But um, today this video is really exciting for me because uh, I want to talk about a character. So in the last, uh, I think this past month, yeah, because it started in February, I started watching a new TV show, Katie King. I hope you're watching that show because I'm completely hooked. It's so, so good. Starring Lucy Hale. It talks about mainly uh, fashion and she's trying to be a designer and she's working in one of the uh, best store stores on uh, Fifth Avenue. So it's if you haven't, just go ahead, go ahead and watch it. And that really inspired me to do this sort of video. And since I actually don't own that many clothes to show you and to do a proper styling video, I thought that I could do a sort of... Um, I don't know, some sort of personal shopping experience and as I was searching online I came across a few pieces that I thought she, I mean Katie, would wear and that really clicked for me and I decided to film this video and recommend you some dresses that I think that are Katie's style and she always rocks red lips and she's wearing a lot of hearts you can see the similarity now, <laughs> just joking. And she just loves pink and red and she al she's always wearing puffy sleeves and colors and she's the girliest girl you, can, you could ever find. And uh, she's just beautiful. And I, I was really, really intrigued by her style. So I figured it would be nice to just uh, give you my own take and to recommend you some clothes that of course are not designer, are actually quite affordable. So if you do like them, you can you can buy them. The first site that I decided to have a stroll around is actually is actually Zara. I love, love, love Zara. It's affordable. Uh, actually, in the last few years, the, pre the prices are increase a little bit but still it's affordable you have great clothes and the quality is not too bad so i was scrolling right there and i saw four pieces that will fit her style and there are a must in her closet if you want to if we want to spice up things a little bit i decided to um, stick with dresses since we're spring and summer is literally approaching and I thought that this would be a great idea to maybe recommend you some clothes and some items that will um, just spice up your wardrobe a little bit. So, the first dress I'm going to talk about is this one. This one actually caught my attention for the Peter Pan collar. Actually, very preppy, has a preppy style, and she always rocks Peter Pan collars, especially contrasting with the actual dress. So, when I saw this one, it really just caught my attention. First of all, the base is completely black and we have some pattern. The flowers are not too strong, so it would be day and both day and night appropriate. And the color is actually really, really, really cute because it's not like super, super little. It's actually a quite important color, but it's, it makes the dress, it just give the dress that preppy feel that it's so so nice. Leaves are slightly puffy so nothing too overwhelming and nothing too huge and I think it's a great piece. I would wear it both in um, autumn which kind of reminds me of autumn. We have some warm tones in the flowers but it would also be so great for the for this time of the year. If you want to dress it down just wear a pair of lace-up boots and generally I use combat books which combat boots, I've, I've been falling in love with that style of boots. It make cute dresses look edgy without being too harsh. And if you want to dress it up, maybe wear a pair of red stilettos and you're good to go. Oh, and don't forget about the red lipstick. Moving on to the next one, we have this tweed number right here. So Katie always and 
I mean, not always, but tweed quite a lot. Usually she wears black and white tweed or some sort of pink and red numbers, but when I saw this one, it really caught my attention. First of all, I think the color, it, spring, it screams spring, shade of baby blue, and uh, it's really nice. Plus tweed can both be worn again in winter, and spring, winter because it's quite warm, so you can layer up with a roll neck maybe underneath. And in spring, you can rock a shirt. That's so how I envision, I envision this look. And uh, even I thought about putting on a puffy sleeve sh white shirt without scrolling through the images. I that idea came to my mind, to my mind, and I scroll over and I saw that they actually styled it with a white puffy sleeve T-shirt. So it was just perfect and I had to feature it. So as you can see the details on this dress um, are mainly on the buttons because they are made of flowery crystals and I thought they are really really nice and actually elevate the dress giving that more expensive look. If you add like the model right here white puffy sleeve shirt you just have the complete catechin look. This dress is actually quite, quite feminine and I wouldn't recommend you to wear this one with combat boots. It would be too harsh for this, but I would actually pair it with some block heels once, but some, something in between, maybe a sort of off-white look or maybe even an electric blue pair. That would be really, really great and you're good to go. I feel I had to mention this dress because I think tweed it's the, you the more, I don't know, expensive vi uh, vibes I feel and I thought that was really really a great choice. Moving on to the next one we have, we have this dress. This dress actually it's not Katie Keen's typical color, color palette. As I told you before, always wears bright colors but this dress caught my attention because it has that style that we're looking for it's girly it's feminine and it's not too overpowering first of all the shape of the dress it's quite simple because it's a bodycon dress so it will hug your figure and it features a square neckline that square neckline i think it's the most flattering out of all. It's not V, it's not round and it just has the perfect amount of elegance without going off. Plus the ever-present puffy sleeves which are a must if you're trying to achieve a Katie look. And the ensemble is really really good. I would wear this dress mainly during autumn autumn spring autumn because the colors are quite fall it's mainly warm tones but if you wear it with red accessory it will be great even it would be great even for this time of, of the year um, the model here has brown boots but i think brown brownish boots but i would actually wear this dress with compact boots it will look so so great or maybe a pair of stilettos or ankle boots with a block heel. They're comfortable and they're nice. And if you want to go for the more 90s grunge look, add a choker, a black choker, the thin one, not the thick one, and you're good to go. I actually used to be obsessed with choker back I think it was about two years ago. I was wearing them constantly whenever I went out. They actually made me feel more put together and vibe. And uh, for some reason, I stopped wearing them. And I think they might come back. I think. Moving on to the next one. This one is the last but certainly not least. I decided to um, choose a polka dot dress. So polka dots to me are the ultimate 
the ultimate pattern that will never go out of style. It's classic, it's elegant, and it's good, appropriate for day and night, and it's so, so classy. As you can see, it doesn't have a proper structure. It's actually very floaty, apart from the bust area, where it's a little bit cinched in, so it will just give you that illusion of um, a bigger bust if you don't have, like, that huge bust. I'm, I'm think I'm, I'm quite normal right there, but it's really nice. The skirt it's a little bit longer. It, this dress is actually a little bit longer than the others that we've mentioned before, and it's floaty and elegant. And this dress it's just the perfect for the red lips. If you do wear polka dots and red lips, you just you just use vibes. I think it's the best combination when it comes to clothes and this dress actually it's in my Zara basket so I might actually buy it I think it would, would be so great right here they pair with they paired it with some slouchy boots but I think they're just too much since the dress is not really bigger hugging it's more floating I would recommend you to wear some uh, combat boots again I know I keep mentioning them but they are the great choice if you want to wear a dress without making too dressy and that's actually how i would wear it and again a red pair of stilettos and a gray pout and you're just good to go so i think that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video it's a little different for me i hope you don't mind i hope i entertain you somehow and give you some great advice and don't forget to subscribe and join the community and if you have tried or if you have any recommendation don't forget to write down below and actually if you do watch this show please tell me thoughts about it and see you on the next one bye